Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Howler for an Hour. Today we're playing Intravenous. I hope I'm saying that word right. I never pronounced this word correctly, but it is a neat word, and it is a neat game from what I can gather. This game kind of has, it, it kind of looks a little li bit like Hotline Miami, except for it's also a stealth game. I was intrigued by this game's design and presentation. It looked pretty high octane at times, but also, well, it has those stealth elements as well. It looks kind of brutal and rather to be a lot of fun, I would imagine. So let's uh, check it out, shall we? Of course, before I begin, if, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that and hitting that bell. Helps out. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here. And I'd like to make 2022 the year we do it, but I can't do it without your help. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. Any of that view count makes a difference. Even just one more person is really awesome to have, and it's another person I can chat up, which I always like to do. So think about coming by. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community, if you want to check that server out. And I have a coffee link, if you want to help directly monetize my content. All the links are in the description for you to peruse, if you wish. Bark, 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 bark. See? There's a new follower right there! Go follow their lead! Come to Twitch! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Intravenous. Let's, let's go ahead and check this out. I, I'm also paying close attention to see if anybody in the chat is being like, Charm, you fucking idiot. That's not how you pronounce that word. <laughs> uh, options. Let's look at the options real fast. So, apparently I'm in windowed mode? I'm... It's full screen to me, but okay. Maybe it's window full screen, I don't know. Shout quality low. Let's do... I'm gonna do a bit better than that. Ah. Let's go, I mean, it's a pixel game, so I assume I'll be fine. Yeah, let's, let's just max it out and see how it looks. I'm gonna live on the dangerous side. Uh, tone map type. Filmic default. Uh, what? HDR rendering to have any effect? I don't understand, but sure. Let's make this game look snazzy. Wait, why is there voice input? You can use your microphone to create noise in game and bait enemies in. Are you serious? The game was not designed around this feature. It's optional. It's there for you to have fun. Okay, I'm turning that on. That sounds like a streamer feature for help, for sure. What the hell? <laughs> All right. That sounds like it'll make it a frame rate limit. 144. Why 144 exactly? Anyways, 60, please. Thank you. That's not how you pronounce that word. I don't know how either, but you're wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> you sound very educated on the subject, so I'll take your word on it. Uh, also, we'll load the controls in game, though. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Also, there's a map editor and modding. Seems there's a like you can do this. So, intravenous. Enter the world of Intervenus as Steve Robbins, a man set out for revenge after losing his brother to low-life junkies. With aid from a mysterious person claimed to have suffered a similar fate, uh, it's time for you to take revenge upon those who have wronged you. Alright, definitely easy, don't fret so much over your screw-ups, achieve disabled, infinite save files, with one-third less damage, yeah, this sounds pretty boring. I like a little challenge, let's see. Falling bodies make noise, five save files per le level, okay, okay. Enemy reaction times are worse. Player makes 20% less noise. Armor is 20% more effective. True. True to the original vision of the game. We won't be easy. Everyone deals and receives 15% more damage. Well, that seems fair. Your health level influences your movement speed. Again, that seems fair. If you're shot up a whole bunch, you might slow down. Falling bodies make noise. Three save files per level. Three. Th oh, so, so three files. That's still pretty fair. And then, ma ma Mastrosis, another word I cannot pronounce. More difficult than intended, not recommended for your first playthrough. Everyone dies in one shot. Our armor negates all damage not penetrated, but breaks in one shot. Your off level influences your movement speed. One save file per level, falling bodies make noise. You still get one save! That's still not the most brutal you could be. And you can also customize it definitely. Oh, wow. I'm gonna play on true. That sounds good. It sounds a little tough, but I think three files for a level- I mean, I don't know how long these levels are, to be fair. But I think three sounds like a fair number, so let's do it. Why did you unspell the title of the game? Actually, good question. Hyper, why did you break the title of the game? Why is it now on trial? You really, oh, I see. Uh, that is a, that is a V, not a U, Hyper. <laughs> I realize the font's a little tricky, but I know that word is a V. <laughs> <laughs> that is a V. 
it's intravenous because it involves the word vein because it involves I think intravenous is like if you insert a needle that's an intravenous injection right because you're like inter like you intervene in intervene intravein us pertains to entering a vein something like that I, I think <laughs> Prolog City, September 3rd, 1852 time. What's the matter, Steve? You fell asleep or something? Uh. Yeah, Charles. The sound and smell of gunfire made me want to take a nap. Well, shit, man. Don't fall over that thing in your hands. I wouldn't want to get caught in the misfire by a lousy shot like you. Screw you, man. I bet I can hit all the targets faster than you. Oh, yeah? Want to bet? You're on. I went in tonight, the drinks are on you. I made a good amount of drinks. Well, when I kick your ass, I'll have that bottle of whiskey you've got. Don't get too cocky. Hold your horses. Go all over the place today. Why don't you get some more practice for us, huh? Alright. It's a... Oh, is it actually a you? Oh, yeah, there you go. You no, know, it's, yeah. I think the title's combined with the word ravenous. Is it? Ah, fuck if I know it at this point. Now I'm just confused. Hold right mouse. Wait, I didn't pay attention to any of the prompts. What did you say? Okay. Yeah, I guess I aim with the, uh... Alright. Pretty standard. R for reload, yeah. My aim gets worse the more I shoot. All makes sense. I can't shoot people if you're wondering. I try. Tapped out. Grab the pistol. Get used to it while you're at it. Okay. What's the take button? Is it one? No. Is it E? Oh, it's E. There it is. I didn't see the prompt. There's too many things flashing. <laughs> I'm distractible. Sorry. Hold right mouse button with Tantra Amy mode. Oh yeah, I figured that out. Okay. Also, I'm noticing the noise level, like when I shoot and stuff. Sorry, I see the mechanic there. What's that, like, loading bar there? What is that? What's that about? This music is very peaceful for a, gu for a gun range. <laughs> this is a very inspirational gun range, guys. <laughs> Alright, then. Let's have that if you think they're that good of a shot. Okay. Oh, I see. This is our brother, so... Well, if I'm just trying to compete about aiming, then I'm just gonna, like... I don't know what that lo weird loading bar is, though. Alright, looks like I'll be having that booze after all. I thought I did really well, though. Fuck, man, I didn't even have time to taste it. I'm just messing with you. You think I robbed my brother like that? Hey, the drinks are on me tonight. Real generous, huh? Hey, you're the one who's paying for the shooting range. I'm not some tight one. I can let loose, too. I guess it's inspirational music because we're just doing family bonding time. What do you have? Morbin will be fine. Morbin and rum here, please. I'll be right back. Gotta take a leak. As you do. Go to the bathroom. Sure. Can I punch? No. Oh. I was gonna just, like, go in the kitchen for no reason. Oh. <laughs> Wait, bash? <laughs> Don't want to get thrown out. Yeah, I was going to say. All right. Wrong toilet, but hey. Say, Steve, you got a girl yet? Nah, free as I can get. Got some good news for you. There's a chick behind you. Been eyeing you for quite a while now. I want to go over there and say hello or something. Shit, is, he, is she hot? Find out for yourself. Go on, get. An active reload? It says I can turn on a tactical reload in the options if I want, but I'm fine with just normal reload. It's fine. Hey, how are you tonight? 
Man, that chick was all over you. You think? Fuck, man, what kind of question is that? The way she was looking at you, play over hair, laughter could be heard a mile away. You got a number, too. What do you think, dumbass? Well, shit, man. I have to give her a call sometime. You do that, man. Don't blow this chance. Can't believe I need to coach, coach you on this. <laughs> Forty and slip. <laughs> you think we should hail a cab or something? <laughs> Why would we do that? I'm right here spending quality time with my little brother. I'm in no rush. I got a light buzz going. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, the Freudian slip I made. I mean, that is a goal if they're trying to get a pick up girls, I guess. Uh, the coach coach. <laughs> and then the guy storms in and says, Richard, why are you lying to me? If you didn't get it done, just say so. Jeez, your boss sounds like an asshole. I know, right? The guy even said that his laptop crashed, so he lost all his unsafe progress. Richard's not the type to lie about stuff either. But no, he's lying for sure. What a fucking dickhead. Hi, guys. Hey, man. You got any spare change for us, fellas? No, I don't think I do. What about your boyfriend there? You feeling generous tonight? Fuck off. Get a fucking job. That's not a way to speak to someone in need. Just give me some fucking money. Yeah, pretty boy, share some. You back up before I smash your face's fucking pulp. What the fuck are you doing? Just take the money and go. Okay. Bunch of low life says as said. Charles. It was supposed to be a regular night out. Said I end up at the hospital. My brother was in a coma. I gave an interview to the police and they said they'd turn the city upside down looking for those junkies. Charles passed away the next night. Oh. Did I, did I skip? Did I skip a cutscene? I don't know. I hit space. I, no, I assume that was it. What do you mean there's nothing? It's been a fucking month. I assume I didn't skip anything. Felt like it was kind of weird that we only had that one hospital scene for like one dialogue thing. I figured there'd be more, I guess. So the police aren't doing shit. <laughs> Alright. I see my okay. So if I run, huh? I'm kind of observing the noise, and of course visibility depends on darkness, right? Yeah, there's a very there's a very important meters there. I gotta pay attention to. All right, balaclava. Guess I'll have to do this myself. This one's for you, big brother. Pacing slightly weird, but I get what they're going for. I guess we have pistol. The one time I leave my piece at home, I get fucked up. Go figure, that's always how it works, right? Uh, I'm not really against open carry. I know that's a thing in the States, for instance. I do wonder what that loading... What does that loading mean? That I can't quite aim to that? Or, like, I'm aiming past that, maybe? Or, like, maybe that's, like... I guess that's just indicating what the edge of a barrier is. Like, if I'm trying to aim over here, it's like, no, that's a wall here. So, I guess that's what it's telling me. Kind of an odd icon for it, though. I wasn't expecting, like, a Windows loading bar for that. Hideout. Start mission. Okay. Druggy ghetto. Nice. I'm no doubt going to be outnumbered. Should resort to fighting as my last chance. Okay. Again, stealth. <laughs> How do you open doors again? I think it's hit space, but it doesn't seem to work. A lot of times. Sneak up behind an enemy to quietly choke them out. Adjust your movement speed with the mouse wheel. Oh, really? Oh! Oh, yeah, look at the bottom. There's, there's five meters. There's full on sprint, jog, walk. Slow pace, sneaky. I'll probably keep it at... Probably keep it at just the one below the la last one. Actually, unless I'm actually sneaking up. So... Choke. Choked. Um, wait, hold on. Junkie carry. How do you... 
Oh, I can use the mouse wheel. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, how the fuck do I move, like, select different options like that? So we can, like, move their bodies somewhere. I suppose to sleep in the darkness works. We can also, oh, we have the option to finish them off. That's interesting. I wonder if there's a reason if I would, uh, is, I mean, we're on a revenge mission, so I don't really understand the idea of mercy right now, but. Uh, swap or P, so I can choose for different weapons, too. I'll stay on the P89 because we actually have ammo for it, but I think it's ammo. I think it's ammo, though. I guess guards won't find a gun say on the ground suspicious. So I guess I can kill them or I can not kill them. That I wonder if that actually is an impactful choice. <gasps> oh, I see. There's a dumpster up there. I assume I'm supposed to put them there. Also, yes, I can't hit shift. I can hit shift to immediately start sprinting. So, like maximum. The fact they also gave finish off a different button prompt to make sure you don't accidentally press it if you don't want to. That does clue me in. Wait, can I not put them in the... I think I can put them in the trash. No? Okay, never mind. I guess I'll leave them in the darkness. I assume it really only matters if there's patrol routes, though. So if a bunch of guards are moving through an area, I probably shouldn't leave bodies there, but... You know. Oh, it's a vault! Okay. So that's like a low wall or something. And that is... I guess I, guess I can only open doors that I can... Notably interact with, I suppose. Okay. What did I just do? I hit control. Oh, control. Oh! I can go prone with control. Proceed to confirm and melee strike. Strikes from the back, knock out enemies instantly. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh. I guess that guy saw me? I guess it's a window he's hanging out by. I couldn't really quite tell. That's fine. I heard a door open. Somebody's moving around. I actually didn't know that guy was even aggroed or alerted. For a stealth game, I expected to for that to be more clear. Also, I'm kind of, like, not sure. Like, does going prone... Like, could I go prone and go under his window and he wouldn't see me? Or is that not how the perspective works? I don't really understand. I don't really know. That guy... I think that guy shot at me, but everybody seems pretty chill besides that. I don't know. Gonna prone through here because why not? What's this? Keychain. That's probably good. <laughs> prone for great efficiency. Huh. Can I like. Yeah, I, I couldn't choke him from behind if you're what Okay, so they do aggro then. Now they're aggro. They weren't earlier. Even though I got shot at for some reason. Okay then. So weirdly enough, I got sh I like they, they took a pot shot. The first that one guy in the window definitely took a pot shot at me. But at the same time, there was no alert. That was very confusing. So that's a proper alert. Oh, hello. Okay, don't I had to be a bit careful how I sneak up on people. Got it. If you do sneak up on them, don't get too close. <laughs> Righto. I'm just lording for now. Oh, that's the dumpster they want to be putting them in. Oh, that's how. It's very conditional. You gotta stand right in front of it, carefully. Okay, so I guess what I want to probably do... I'm still confused when that one guy randomly shot me. Or shot at me, though. That was very weird. Oh. What? Uh, 
That guy who's sitting down is not sitting down anywhere. I guess he moves around. Again! What the fuck? Oh, wait. Shit, shit, shit. I'm out of here. What happened? Oh, that's what I heard! They shot some guy. I guess they were having an argument or something. And then he comes in and... Okay, okay. What the hell is this? What do you mean? What? <laughs> what? What the hell are you mad about? <laughs> What 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 got him so angry? Okay, if you're coming over here, no. Okay, I'm I'm just trying to understand these guys right now. <laughs> what the hell is this? My sofa is in the same position I left it in. Something's wrong. <laughs> they definitely don't know where I am, but they know something's wrong. I don't know why they know something's wrong, but okay. Well, all right then. Like, I'm not sure what to. I'm not sure how to respond to that that action he took. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go over here. Oh, hey. I didn't realize these were light switches. Ah, that's actually very helpful. Now see, if I had turned the lights off and he got suspicious, I would have been like, okay, fair enough. Well, since I can't seem to figure out what the hell he's doing... Uh, I'll just keep wandering around. <laughs> Like seriously, they I got them stuck in an alert phase that I don't even know how. <laughs> well, alright, let's just go over this way, I guess. H H to holster your weapon. Oh, okay. I was actually wondering if there's some way to put that away. Speed advantage for hand-to-hand -hand combat, too. Alright. Oh hi, how you doing? Okay, that's just kind of bullshit. <laughs> Like honestly, not a good, not a, I honestly have to say, not the best look that it uh, that we start out and immediately I don't understand why I triggered somebody's, you know. Like what happened there? Wow, you really have no time to react. <laughs> Just turns to get pistol whipped. <laughs> you really have no time. If you walk up on somebody, you better be ready to choke them out. Because you don't have much time. If you're standing behind somebody, they notice <laughs> very quickly. All right. I'm gonna try the stealth approach, which means basically that I would like to, uh, I would like to hand-to-hand -hand this, if I can. Check this, I got a piece the other day. That's a nice gun, man, how'd you pay for it? Just 200 guys sold, actually, while well, they talk. You know how to use that thing? It's a fucking pistol, man, you just point and pull the trigger. Relax, they ain't loaded. Holy shit, you killed him! I... Let's see if this works. I think it will. Nope. Wait, I can just single punch them? That was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, they are better at seeing in the dark than I expected, though. <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, what's the word? <laughs> okay, I don't need to choke them. I can just punch them in the back of the head. That also works. That might be easier, actually. <laughs> uh, he smells you, maybe. I'm gonna do, uh, punches are better. I don't like con, I'm honestly not fond of context sensitive buttons. I find them to be finagly. So, like, getting behind somebody and hitting the choke button, I'm not always a fond of that sort of, yeah. Hey, don't point at me. Rax ain't low. Smart dude. Very smart dude.
actually just kind of testing their awareness skills. Yeah, yeah, I prefer that way. I definitely prefer that way. <laughs> that is much, that is just a much more functional way of handling things. Um, this'll do, it's in the darkness. <laughs> Choke button? Nah, it's punch works. <laughs> If you can't tell, I'm the sort of... Oh. Where are you going? I think I'm safe here. I know if I stand up here, I'm actually visible, but if I crouch... So this object, I can actually crouch behind, so... I want to see this guy's pattern. Hold on. The worst enemies in a stealth game are the ones that move around. Obviously. But it's something you don't really think about. I And we, me in stealth games... I will always systematically go. Okay, so if I snuck. Okay. I'm just I'm just pondering how I want to do this. One thing I have problem with is my vision cone makes my vision cone will illuminate areas, which makes it hard for me to tell if I'm in darkness or not. Okay, first I want to make sure this is safe. Okay, this is safe. Right, I'll wait for the next cycle. He noti Notice how he doesn't look this direction. That's important for my plan. I think this should be safe. He doesn't stick around very long, but if I time this right, it should be fine. And if not, I'll just punch him repeatedly, hopefully before he shoots me. And go. One less patrolling enemy to worry about. Now, when I was over here, who saw me? Oh yeah, the guy behind. Wandering around and ended up behind me. I remember now. thinking. Do you think I can punch a guy on the back of the couch? <gasps> nope, 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 no, 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 Okay, there's a guy patrolling up there. These guys are just kind of chilling. I could probably... I'm gonna wait for him to do another cycle. Also, if I get in combat at this point, I'm going to actually try not to die. I've been kind of just mulliganing if I get caught, but uh, at this point, I'm, I'm going to actually try to... And yes, I have three saves. I'm not using any just yet, though. Okay. You need to know which way he faces. Okay. Got it. Okay. Can I do this without learning this guy? Yes. <laughs> But the answer is yes. Oh, bottles. Ah, oh, I can throw them. But they're one time. Oh, that's actually... No, I can, can I throw... You think I can throw, um... Over a wall? Actually, I don't need to. Not here. Let's get these open. Put me in darkness. Oh. Go. Yeah, the fact I I don't I kind of don't like my vision cone because I find myself turning away from where I want to go because I want to make sure where I am is dark. And when my vision cone is illuminated, it's harder for me to tell. obviously I can tell from the oh shit. oh he actually got mad that the door was open and now he's alerted sort of interesting. Come out, you fucking pussy! Wow, he really hates people leave doors open. <laughs> you 
You can calm down, music. I kind of took him out before he could do anything. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that red icon? Probably my objective. Yeah, he, he, I wasn't able to stealth knock him out, but uh, that works. <laughs> So, we have now learned that if you leave a door open, they're going to fucking freak. <laughs> I feel like that's innocuous and shouldn't really get their attention to that degree, but okay. There's a lot of door opening sounds, but I can't. I'm just going to pop open. Pop in here. Nope. <laughs> no music for you. They don't seem to care about the lights being off, but they do care about the doors being open. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just be polite and close the front door each time so they don't freak the fuck out. Because they're a little harder to attack if they're freaking the fuck out. Also, I don't know if... It's probably uh, a case where I'm supposed to get to point from point A to point B, right? But I'm the sort of person that wants to knock every motherfucker out in a game like this, so I'm gonna keep walking around a bit. Figure out. Yeah, is this. Yeah, that's true. Let's go in here. Locked. I need a key. I think I picked up multiple keys. I can also shoot the lock. Okay, so I have option. I have a loud option, basically. Ah. Hello. Oh, I can vault this. What if that would make noise? I want to be one punch man. That's basically how I'm playing right now. That vault took a little longer than I thought, but it was a big, it was a big wall. Also, notice how he didn't alert. So I guess vault, <laughs> I guess, let me just drop this dead body on the other side of the, or unconscious body on the other side of this wall. Does this count as revenge if I just knock everyone out? For killing my brother? I don't know. Let's see if this actually gets him mad. No. This guy is in a position where I think he'll see me open the door. Maybe not. I'm just gonna see this. Never mind. He has terrible peripheral vision. <laughs> Is that pizza? That is fucking pizza. But I guess that was a healing item. <laughs> Fucking yes. <laughs> I got what I. Yeah, I came here to avenge my brother. Realized I was actually more interested in just getting a pizza. <laughs> Pizza cravings, man. They take over. Oh, this guy. Right. I'm t I don't like this guy. He's all, like, fucking ready to go. So fucking Vince Shaft. Leave the me to cover us up. So I've got no damn tools to do it with. Have a fist. That's a good tool. Is this a, uh, is this a storage locker? Nope. Okay. Was that the guy talking or? Press C to perform melee strikes. Strikes from the back, knock out enemies instantly. Oh, I, I can have my pistol out and still knock them out. So, yeah, I was right. It attacks for the back, it's a knockout. Take that wall. Alright, any, any other douchebags this direction? Sarah is very big. Maybe I should consider dropping a save. Actually, this is a terrible idea. This is just a long corridor of light, and I can't see what's at the end of it. Ah, uh, this door. What do you guys think I should drop my first save? Okay, okay that's, that's out of bounds. Okay. I mean, it's mission one. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's not that bad, but... I mean, I died pretty goddamn quick, but... I am noticing that, yes, I can 
I can indeed just uh, knock guys out. <laughs> so, I think this is a good time. Let's drop a save. So how do we do this? <clears throat> save game. Five, four. Oh, I have had three. All right, we have made a save. Let's hope that wasn't a bad place for it. But I did make some, did make some forward progress. Somebody is moving around. Oh, this guy's just hanging out. Is that a girl? Whatever. Is that a guy on the toilet? Or is that just the toilet? <laughs> Could tell there's a guy's head or the toilet bowl. <laughs> Top-down perspectives can kind of be confusing sometimes. <laughs> Maybe after the objective, that might have been smart, I don't know. Regardless, it's fine. I have a silly idea. There's no way to enter this room without learning this person. Absolutely no way. Why don't we do this? Well, I did get shot, but it kind of worked. <laughs> I didn't expect to have a second guy come in. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of ang he's a lot of angry people all of a sudden. Wait, but I have a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just like, you know what? No, I'm leaving. <laughs> the, the 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 punch in the darkness. I'm scared. I'm leaving. <laughs> Look at that guy. Not only left, but closed every door behind him. So I was like, nope! <laughs> okay, even if I am spotted, there seems to be... Oh look, somebody... Oh! So my health bar went down a fair bit, but there was a star section that was yellow. And that yellow section refilled. So, if you get shot, you... If some of that refill... Like, if you get hurt, some of that will refill if you don't get hurt for a while. That's good to know. Probably should have saved that pizza, huh? Now, where was that one guy that ran off? Ha! Ah, come get me, bitch! Uh, okay, let's see. Alright, well, since you're... <laughs> Give me all the time in the world. <laughs> he really did run off. <laughs> Fuck, cow, quit seeing there. Come here already. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself? Because that sounds like you're talking to yourself. <laughs> Fuck a bitch, you think I'm gonna go in there? Fuck you! Alright. Yes, I will, because I think you're... Way too... Oh, you're not going to, are you? That's fine, I'll just, I'll just go around and turn off more light switches. I shall put a shroud of darkness over your house. I'm gonna make him think it's poltergeist. It actually kind of is. How does this go? Oh, neat. Where does this go? <laughs> Braves are Robin ran away! Bravely ran away! <laughs> away. <laughs> where does this go? Where is it? Where are we going? He left though, which makes me sad because I was going to totally ambush. It. I think it's the, I think he's the last guy here. So, um, cool. Fuck that cocksucker's not here. Need to leave this shit all. I know where he is. Were we after a particular cocksucker? I mean, it's hard to tell one from another. Oh, that's a very crass word for me to use. I don't normally use words like that. I mean, so it's it's the language of the game, yo. <laughs> oh, I turned the light switch on. That's rude. Where is he going? Where is he going?
Where do you think he's going? Think he's gonna come back? Sure, Pikachu is always the worst even dialogue. But it's the authentic gaming experience. <laughs> oh, shit. Hi. <laughs> there. Objective done. Finally. <laughs> Is, is that is that a guy I knocked out? I assume that's a guy I knocked out. Hi, I'm just gonna put to your friend here. There you go. Don't worry, it's the one time you'll hear me say that if you don't like me hearing say hearing me say that. Friendos, I am gay. This is a word of my people. Um <laughs> Now, what, what am I doing now? I guess I'm leaving? So did I alert the guy that I was uh, trying to get or something? Because since your language priests are, algor are algorithmic overlords. Supposedly. My attitude is, it, here's the thing. Slurs? Fuck those. Anything else? Seriously, why? Why does it matter? It's fine. In my personal opinion, a harsh word, quote unquote, is not really a big deal unless it is directly aiming to attack other people. And technically, the <laughs> sea sucker is technically an attack, but uh, in a fictional context, there's nothing really wrong with that. If, 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 if one fictional character in a video game is calling another fictional character in a video game that word, alright. I don't know how this affects anyone. It's like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I guess we're leaving. All right, bye. So yeah, we that mission was that long. So okay, I had plenty of saves. I was spot six times. So I was I didn't do perfect, <laughs> but it you know what though I didn't hit the careless section. So hey, look at me. I was I was stealthy and sort of quiet. Well, actually, I guess mostly stealthy, not necessarily quiet. <laughs> stealth and quiet, two different things. <laughs> Steve's house. Okay. This is horseshit. How am I gonna do this? Where do I even look for that asshole? I need sleep. Get my mind off things. In my personal opinion, though, those that actually censor everything they do, especially on YouTube and stuff, I kind of... What's the word? It... When they don't, when they go out, when a person goes out of their way to not cuss, I feel like it brings more attention to the curse word, or the curse word that's missing. And some channels, like, it's just, if I would, if they actually cussed, I would notice the cuss word less. But the fact that they danced around it to say something else, or bleep it or something, got, brought it more attention to it, in my opinion. I, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Hi. Who's this? How'd you get my number? I'm afraid I can't reveal my identity, but we both share the same goal. I know how much it hurts to lose your kin to some deadbeat junkie. I know the police haven't made any progress in finding those responsible, either. What do you want? We both want to see those responsible for hurting our families face justice. I'm offering my aid in finding the people that killed your brother. Give me a reason why I shouldn't just ask the police to trace this call. Because that would do neither of us any good. Besides, what police are you talking about? Here at home. Why should I trust you if you're being so secretive? Because I'm offering you access to the black black market and all the necessities to train you, you to track down those degenerates. What's the catch? There is none. So that beats killed people that matter to me as well. It's personal to me. All right, I'm in. If the police won't do anything, then I will. Glad to hear that. Call me your accomplice. Okay, we have an accomplice. That's where it all started. Except it is- oh, that's not a girl? I thought it was a girl. Except it's out because I want to do some good deed for another person. But because this is personal. Not because. I figured the life of strangers is worth shit to those assholes, and their life isn't worth much to me either. I mentioned my brother was of paramount importance to me. I need to train hard if I wanted to survive out there. I didn't want to go down without having killed the assholes that took my brother from me. My former life was no longer important to me. I'm just gonna punch everybody, though. <laughs> it's a personal choice. Yeah, it is. I just feel like some people were- Welcome to your new home. If you find something lacking, just let me know and I'll remedy that. 
What the hell? Got me cabinets full of guns? I've got enough funds to get you practically anything you'll need. Might as well go out with this. Try the weapons out and see how they feel. I suggest going through the obstacle course to brush up your traversal skills. Go over to the terminal when you're ready, and we'll go over what to do next. Before that, I strongly suggest you take the obstacle course. Got it. It is personal choice, but I, I specifically remember- I specifically noticed, like, some longer time YouTubers who used to cuss here and there. Not, oh, excessively, just, uh, you know, here and there. Now, oh, what weapons do I want? Well... I mean, I guess I'm going non-lethal, so give me a Trank Rifle. So this one is a veterinary pistol. Huh. Is that a thing? Veterinary pistols? Also, is this lethal? I assume this is lethal. Yeah, it seems to be. Hmm. But yeah, it's just when YouTubers that used to curse now suddenly don't because algorithm says otherwise. It feels kind of cheap to me at that point. It's like, you would be cursing though. You would be using some, you know... Little, you'd accent that in if it wasn't for the algorithm, so. Uh, oh. Kevlar. Ceramic plates. Okay, okay. What about, like, nothing? Okay, so, yeah. No, no armor. <laughs> yeah. Now I can trick people. Well, a little bit. I only have eye shots, but that's fine. You've been trying to story else to get out of the habit. It keeps me more positive. I... If you wish to be even heard, you'll need to mind your step. Some surfaces make more noise than the rest, do they? Oh yeah, carpet makes no noise. Cool. If you want to get anywhere, you need to learn how to pick locks. The right tools, most locks can be cracked. Okay. I'm a master. I mean, that's fair. I don't, I mean, if somebody doesn't want to cuss, that's totally understandable. I feel like I'm okay with it here and there. I don't do it excessively, but I will use it to accent points. Sometimes it's just the perfect thing to accent a point. I don't use it to attack people, though. Unless it's maybe a fictional character in a video game I'm getting frustrated at, but besides that. This tutorial is teaching me things I already figured out. I'm glad I can pick locks now. It's very intelligently, yeah. I, I feel like... I don't know, man. Some lights can't be put out. If you find a breaker box, you can knock multiple lamps out at once. Oh. Dudes might not be super happy about that, though. Keep an eye out for vit shafts. Bypass to reach otherwise inaccessible areas. By crawling through them. I don't like vit shafts because they take forever. Observe the camera. The area eliminates the cone of view. If you knock the guy on the other side of the camera, cameras won't do much save for lighting the area up. Fair enough. So, it, there's a, that's useful information. So there are camera stations, uh, surveillance stations. So, might have to worry about those. So, take that, take that, and that. And, and I can't. I can't actually shoot it. Yes, I can. Okay, a silence. Okay, so I have a silence pistol right now. That is good to have, even if I'm being non-lethal, because I can take out cameras. All right, cool. So that actually was a good pick. I picked out that one for a reason. Um. One shot. I watch the host trailers a lot, but it's mostly sleep. Then the intermixes memes with a lot of bleep swears. So it's like, what's the point? I. That is a little confusing. I have to admit. Also, memes. They always confuse me. Uh, let's begin the next mission, though. So what do we do now? First, tell me what you've been up to. This seriously looks like a girl. 
<laughs> well, I went back to where I fucked up in hopes of finding at least one of the four assholes that got my brother killed. Found nothing. I found a lot of assholes, though. <laughs> yeah, there's no chance they'll be there anytime soon. So, dead end? Not quite. Luckily for us, the guy who called the ambulance had a visual of the junkies to beat you up. He described their looks to the police. I went through a bunch of CCTV footage and found a place one of the frequents often. You scrubbed through a bunch of footage by yourself? Facial recognition software is my friend. Right. Hey there now. Wait! I urge you to at least spend a week or two getting familiar with firearms. You need some experience. The odds aren't stacked in your favor. Aren't we letting them get away? They have no prospects of going anywhere. Don't worry. If they Even even if they go someplace, I'll find them. I promise to help you. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Fine. I just... I feel like, um... I think swears are good for enunciating, but if you get, like, again, I, I want to very importantly differentiate, swears and slurs are not the same thing. Slurs are always going to be something I'm, I'm completely against. But swears, I think they're generally okay. There is such a thing as swearing too much. <laughs> definitely. You can definitely do too much of anything. Um, but I personally think that swears are actually kind of useful, and I don't think they should be just shut out entirely, you know? I... I feel like I feel like swears are only as mu have as much power as you give them. So if you want to be offended by a swear, you have made that choice yourself. If that makes sense. Steve, I wish to remind you to be less trigger happy with the guy we're looking for. Uh, you might be proud to shoot him at the earliest convenience, but remember that if he dies, we risk running ourselves into a dead end. Right. Don't worry, I'm gonna punch everybody. As I said. Also, is this the most? Well, it's a veterinary pistol, but it's also very quiet. So, I guess it works. Actually, wait, should I just grab this one? Oh, no, the VP9 is the quietest gun, so that's cool. Excellent. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily miss the days it was edgy. But I do have to say... Let's let's play around with the let's play around the soda can. I want to see what I can make people do if I throw an item. Not seen much. Can't open those. I guess doors you can open are kind of more odd. Well, I don't know. Like, I don't like this. That there's doors I just can't open. Like, they're out of bounds. They don't really look any different from doors I know I can open. Like, this one is obviously an openable one. I wish the doors you couldn't open have some sort of, would have some sort of, like, indicator of that. But I guess the fact that they op they go into an area with a roof is the indicator, I suppose. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Alright. just realized I cannot go prone while holding so oh my goodness I good thing I went prone okay so there's that guy and there's that guy got it that guy's in the darkness though all right I'm thinking I'm gonna time this I don't think I personally over swear what do you guys think oh shit why was I still prone I said stand up my character did not stand up. That's fine. I should use other strategies. I think step one, maybe. Oh. Is that a breaker box? It is. They're going to be very mad when I do this, but that's fine. <laughs> That was like a muttly laugh, my goodness. <laughs> Wacky racers, nobody remembers that show, probably. I really don't like how I can't tell my vision. Um, I, I don't like my vision cone. My vision cone actually messes me up. Nice work. <laughs> Lovely response time for those guys. Are they all gonna come over the breaker box? Cause that really actually kind of works out for me. I do have to say, I wish the body would take priority of the fucking gun. Alright, there we go. Oh. Is 
somebody walking around. You do it very rarely. I feel like I'm fairly wholesome. Keysquick keeps calling me wholesome. <laughs> this verse is like the breakers out. I'm going to continue to sit here and watch TV. I don't care. The only problem with having the breaker off is that I, I'm going to have trouble fighting people, but they're going to have trouble fighting me, so whatever. <laughs> That's great. I love that the guy was just sitting there. Like, I am determined to relax here in my sofa. I do not care that, that I am in titch darkness. Relatively wholesome, not for this game, perhaps, but your lens. I mean, I'll match the game, sort of. Like, the game's got a darker aspect, I might be darker too. Why is this open? I wonder why. <laughs> He's very confused. He's very dead. Well, not dead, but I think punch it is the most fun. I could shoot people, but if it's a stealth game, yeah, I'll punch punch him. I mean, I'm being spotted, but what's it really matter? I'm not even letting fire a shot. Oh, you have power over here. Well, that's silly. I should, I should do something about that. They selectively care about doors, don't they? <laughs> you range from wholesome to saucy if you feel like it. I do. I'm not super cursey expletive. Why do I have to lockpick from this side? Alright, well. I'm not super cursey expletive, I think, but, uh... Yeah, I can get a bit saucy. <laughs> Saucy's a good word for me. I tend to be smooth about it. Oh, that was the most. Where's this guy going? You saw nothing. Oh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, I should have saved at some point. I, I don't like my own vision cone. It actually fucks me up. I wonder if I can turn it off. So my, here's the problem. I know that there is. There is, uh, uh, like, visual and audio levels exist in the lower left. You can see the bars there. So if I'm in more darkness, if I go prone, you can see my visual levels go down. That light bulb icon. That's useful information, but I prefer using the visual feedback of the actual environment. So, in other words, like, I see, like, oh, this is a dark, like, this, this section of the world is darker than this section, so I'm going to be safer here, right? And then if I go over here, I'll probably be in real, real big darkness um, or something, you know? I, I like using the actual environmental darkness that I'm seeing, that I'm walking into, to tell what kind of visibility I have. However, my own fucking vision cone breaks this, because it completely ruins my ability to see how dark the era I'm standing in is. It's really fucking me over. Um, so I'm, like, making bad guesses and stuff now. I wonder if I can disable my vision cone, because I, I hate it. I want it gone. I don't need it. Let's see if I can disable it. Hmm. I'm not sure. Ow! View cone! Here it is. Off. Prize illumination of visual only the player to help navigate dark areas. Save this to make the game harder due to lack of illumination. Heh. <laughs> Save this is also prep for option. You might enjoy the game more with this enabled. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> you are a smart developer. This is mu see. This is look at this. Now it's easy to tell if I'm in a dark area. Much better. I mean, I don't need. I know where I'm at. I don't need. The, I, it's fine. I don't need a vision going to find my character. The game is centered on like the camera is centered on my guy, so it's it's not too hard to figure out. Much better. Let's play a little longer on this. Let's beat this mission at least. Okay, admittedly it was a little hard to line up for that guy, but you know. 
actually, I'm not against a vision cone, but I feel like, you know, maybe something of that's a little weaker than what we were experiencing a moment ago. That might be better. Okay, like, I could actually... I could actually like, maybe a weak vision cone? Or like an adjust, yeah. It'd be nice if you could adjust the opacity of it. That'd be good. If I had just a really weak one, that would help. It would still help me see. Let me just try that. There. Hello, who's there? What? What? <laughs> he shot me through the door. <laughs> Weird. Uh, it actually, yeah, I, I guess a, some visibility is important, I suppose. If I'll, it's just, my options are either like blindingly large or none at all. I have the option between blindingly, blindingly bright and pitch black. Um, hmm. I wonder if it can be adjusted. Let's see, where was the option for that? Is that under controls? Yeah. Uh, it's tricky, because, like, yes, you do need some light, but I just feel like this is way too much. It feels like I have a giant fucking, fucking searchlight I'm just carrying around. Or maybe just a small circle around my character where I can see around myself. That would be good, too. So that way I just don't bump it. That way, that would prevent me from bumping into walls, you know? But it looks like it's the lesser of two evils just to have it, so I'll, I guess I'll use it. You see my point, though. Is Am, am I alone on this complaint, or do you guys also kind of see my point? Yeah, I think just a circle around my character where I could see my character would be fine. I don't think I need a fucking half the screen covering cone. A circle around my character would be perfect, because then I could still easily tell if I was in a dark area, because I could just move my circle around such to tell the edges. I don't know if he's going to walk to another enemy, but I don't give a shit. I'm getting this guy. Everything's fine. See? Wait, this guy's uh, not sure what to think. Ask real. We'll see the body there. I don't care. Checking the windies. Shit! <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Why does it close the door on him? Nothing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bathroom. Wait, why does a bathroom light switch outside the bathroom? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, there's. Okay, I'm gonna leave this light on because there's pizza in there. So if I get shot, you know, come, I'll come. We we'll get some pizza. The options make everything bright. Yeah, I just. It'd be really nice to figure out the dark, the dark edges a little easier. Also, I don't. Really, I'm not really using a strategy. Oh, no, you just saw nothing. You might see this in a minute, though. Oh, wow. I can fast walk up to the guy without alerting him. That's actually useful information. I thought he would notice me before I got up to him, but he didn't. <laughs> I feel like I'm just some sort of guy who's like... 
break into people's houses and like knocking them out and turning off all their lights. I, I'm the I'm the energy saver. I'm the I'm the energy saver one punch man. <laughs> Oh shit, you noticed me. <laughs> ah! Oh, well. <laughs> Didn't know there's a guy right over there. That kind of messed up. I need to pay more attention. Alright, let's try this again. I wonder how quickly I could beat the level. Without dying. <laughs> if I just was, like, really reckless, but, like, efficient about it. I guess if I don't turn off lights, I'd be more efficient. One punch man! Oh shit. He didn't actually shoot me, it's fine. I got whipped once, it's okay. What? <laughs> Did I just get killed by the door? I'm learning things every time I die. <laughs> Such as, apparently, they can murder me with door. <laughs> Wait, it's not... For fuck's sake, game, I wanted to put the gun away. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually tipped it. You know what, actually, I think I know the most efficient way to be. It would be very messy, but... Hello! Oh, wow, I could just dash in. If I just dash up... If I dash into people... Really fast, that works pretty well. The door they're shooting through the. Oh, okay. I forgot about the window. <laughs> I like the save of this breaker because it does get a lot of people out <laughs> trying to figure out what the fuck. Nope. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this game. It's not bad. But I feel like the AI is a little weird. I don't know if it's just me. Or maybe it's just trying to respond to me who plays games weird. And thus doesn't know what the fuck. That's my favorite way to take people down. They come to me, but they also don't know what the fuck's going on. That's the best way to do it. And yes, I have guns, but I just immediately saw what we have here, and I just thought to myself, you know, it'd be fun not to use a gun. Whoa! That reaction speed was impressive. I, I keep, ex I keep, I'm trying to use stealth game rules that I know, like, oh, that guy's gonna notice the body, he's gonna immediately go up to the body and like, what the fuck happened? And, and then I can just punch him. <laughs> but no, he's just, it seems like the moment they alert, instead of being concerned about their buddies or whatever, they're immediately, I guess the thing that throws me off with these guys, and the reason that I think the stealth's kind of, the stealthy AI is a little bit weird here. The moment they see anything suspicious, whether it be lights being turned off, a door being open where it shouldn't be, a, a, a body unconscious, doesn't matter what they see, they immediately start looking for some way to shoot. Instantly. You know? And that's a little, that's a little weird, honestly. Wow, that worked. Cool. Keep it up. <laughs> what? I've been knocked out. <laughs> Surprise. Um. Yeah, you know what? The running technique? It's a method. <laughs> Oh, 
Like, will they notice me? Absolutely. Will they get a shot off before I punch them in the face? Nope. <laughs> I am the one punch sprinter. You hear you hear a loud noise. You turn around, punch. <laughs> you may have been alerted, but it didn't matter. <laughs> It's my favorite method now. <laughs> I've learned, I finally figured it out. I knew I could exploit them if I tried. I think it's really dumb that you have to, also another thing I think is dumb, why do I have to pick the lock of a front door when I'm inside the house? Just run open and PUNCH! That guy's gonna notice that body. It's okay though. That means I'll have to hit him twice for punch, but it's okay. Or will he notice? Probably will. <laughs> it's okay, that's Greg. He doesn't give a shit about Greg. Oh, that guy knows me. Surprise. Excuse me, I'm running through. <laughs> Sorry, this is- Oh my fucking god, what? <laughs> that was a window, apparently. I didn't notice that. Okay. To go. I need to go to the pizza house. Oh wait, is this a, is this food? Kind of looks like food. Apparently that is not. Honestly, I'm another thing I'm having problems with. Telling what the fuck a window is. That is another thing that is like throwing me the fuck off right now. Like I didn't realize that was a window. Hey buddy, you okay? You alive there? Oh, you're gonna w no! Don't wake him up. Oh shit! They can wake him up. They're knocking him out. Of course, that makes sense. I did not think about that. <laughs> Why did I think about that? I like how they're having a conversation about me, though. Hey, cinnamon. I guess I do need to move the bodies then. Oh great! They're fighting. Ev they're just waking everyone up. <laughs> This is problematic. Just turn the lights off. It can be a slight advantage. So, I like how one of them said something's not right. Mm, you really think so? Alright, you all are going in the timeout room now. Huh. There you go. That way they won't be found. That's the trick. <laughs> I'm running on zero health, by the way. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Clearly, I just need to move people. Hmm. It's a fair fight. Leaving that door open. Actually, now, since I know they're really annoyed about doors, that's actually very useful to me. Because now, they see that open door as they're walking around, they're going to freak out. They're going to check it out. And then I can get them. They also don't seem to want to check this room, so that's actually very useful. It's okay. They woke. They re-woke up their buddies, but I got a strategy. <laughs> Gotta wait for so notice they're patrolling in twos, by the way. That's actually really smart. Makes this a little more dangerous, but it's fine. Actually, I'm gonna drop a save. This may be a weird place to save, but I'm gonna do it. I think I know what I, I think I know what I know. It's the door. There it is. There it is. Yeah. There we go. They are they the moment they see an open door. 
They don't think, oh, somebody just left this open, or oh, the wind blew this open, or no, there is an armed enemy that has opened this door. <laughs> like, I don't necessarily like the stealth mechanics because they're kind of a little weird. Like, they're a little... Oops, I may have just killed him. I was trying to carry him, but I, because it's all mouse wheel based, I selected the wrong option. <laughs> But wait, that ruins my run, though. Oh no. Hold on. Yeah, this is the problem of using a mouse wheel to select options like this. Actually, this is a perfect place to save, though, because it was right before these guys came in, so... <laughs> that guy left. Wait, did some guys come in while I was doing that? Yes, yes I did. I didn't even notice those guys coming. <laughs> that was uh, intriguing. I like how there was two fucking squads that went I didn't even notice, and they didn't, and the second squad didn't notice me punching the other guys. <laughs> I punched one of the guys in the first squad. The other one ran the fuck away and second squad didn't notice any of it. Amazing. Somebody's saying that's quit hiding. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's three of them, and I didn't know there was three of them. This is effective, though. Leaving this door open really pisses people off. I don't know why they all rush at the same time, though. Take it easy, man. Nobody gets stressed out about it. Damn it. Honestly, all of them coming in at once, though? Ah, oh, fuck it. I can do this. Wait, can I not, can I get them with the door, too? Because that would be kind of great. Let's see if I can. So, for some reason, when I reload the save, they all rush at the same place. I don't know why. I don't like that. I don't like that very much. <laughs> I do like how they all left at that point. I think so smart hiding in that fucking corner. Yeah. Yeah, I like how three of you backed off while one of you went forward. Let's get their attention. Like, the AI is kind of interesting. It's clear that they have some intelligence, but... No way I'm going in there. How about you come to me instead? Yeah, if I'm patient, you guys will change your tune. Or I can just leave. If they really want to stay there, that's fine. Hmm, they might notice me if I do that. I don't know. Worth a shot? Whoop! <laughs> I wasn't sure! Question answered. It'd be great if I could just have enough time to punch all these guys, but probably not. I, I bet if I play my cards just right... Oh, I got it. I know how to do it. I think I can take out all, all both teams at once, but I have to do it just right. Patience. Shit, he walked right into my vision. Damn it. Okay, that didn't quite work. All right, let's try that again. Oh, that's complete darkness. This is perfect. Will they notice me in complete darkness? Yes, they will, but not very quickly. I've done it. I did it. <laughs> that was four. <laughs> I knew I could. <laughs> Do not doubt the punch of darkness. There's still more out there, but... 
yeah, honestly, at this point, I don't care. But yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily like the AI in this. I feel like they're a little too, too clairvoyant. They feel a little too clairvoyant. And like, I, I like stealth games, mind you. I just, I don't like the feedback I'm getting in this one. I also don't like how easy it is to accidentally kill somebody, but I guess that's a problem even in Hitman, so <laughs> whatever. There's at least one more patrol. If I open that door, they'll come on in. We'll do that in a minute. Wait, I think they keep it anyways. Yep, they did. They see me? I do. So did I just... So when this alert thing happens, does that mean everybody on the map's alerted? Because it kind of feels like that now. It feels a little, uh... What's the word? Extreme? I played on true difficulty, but... Yeah, honestly, I feel like if you leave it, the problem is like a lot of stealth games have several different types of alert states for the enemies. For instance, if they in a, in a different game, if they saw a door just hanging open, they would think, "Well, that's weird. What's up with that?" And they might be a little suspicious and look around. But normally they wouldn't. But see, normally they wouldn't react like, "Oh shit, there's a door open." You get their guns out like that. That seems weird. Like, if, if that happened in Hitman, people would be like, like, you know, the Hitman game and it's multiple C's and stuff, you know. If that, if you open a door and then people freaked out, that would be kind of bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna drop another save. <laughs> hey, who closed this? I didn't close this. I'll get their attention. And off they go. Yo, I heard gunfire. I mean, you heard a door open. Look at how many teams there are, though. There's like, there's just so many of them. I know some of them woke up from earlier, but. Okay. Well, all right. Man, there's a fucking man pile in here. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't pick up the body. Okay. I also don't like the menu. Selecting options quickly is hard. There should just be a dedicated pickup button. But instead, I gotta cycle through the guy's weapon and try not to actually murder him by snapping his neck. <laughs> like, can I just have a button to pick up? There's there's plenty of buttons on the keyboard, and you recommend mouse and keyboard in this game. Come on. The gunshots they hit you with. Did I get shot recently? Well, I guess it did. Relieve them aligned in arms, and what's the point of this revenge mission? That's exactly what I was gonna ask. We're taking out one of the targets, so I'm kinda curious, can I just leave him alive? I I'm very confused by this, but I'm also intrigued to see what the game does with it. I'm gonna have revenge by knocking people unconscious. Like, I don't know, it's kinda weird. Oh, shit. You saw nothing. Ah! I did save though, so I don't care. Run away, like a little bitch. There you go. Damn it. I actually thought they were gonna run away, but they didn't. Reach. <laughs> I just missed. Ah, fuck this shit. I almost made that work. Okay, if I'm if I'm very stoic about my rushes, it's very weird when I when they are alerted and when they aren't. 
Damn it. <laughs> Run. 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 Where's that guy going? Oh shit. Oh no! <laughs> there are so many! Where did all these enemies come from? It is literally everyone on the map, right? I assume. Damn it! I thought I could surprise that guy. Actually, it's kind of fun to just, like, athlete run and try to knock everybody out. Damn it! That was so close to almost... If I can take out six guys, that's great. This is actually kind of fun to do it this way. Hello. Whoa! So many. Oh god, okay, they can shoot through. I do not understand what they can and can't shoot through. It's honestly confusing. Can you imagine some? I want to see a punch only speedrun. It would be something like this, I'm sure. Damn it. Oh, whoa, I got knifed. That's new. <laughs> you know, the other problem is I have trouble telling which way a door is going to open. That's why I'm so inefficient sometimes. <laughs> yeah, the door. Don't stand behind a door when they're in, they know you're there. <laughs> Oh, they were alerted? I'm surprised they got they got their attention there. Damn it! They they when they open a door though and they know you're on the other side, they do immediately shoot. <laughs> This is a more fun way to play. <laughs> I don't care about the stealth anymore, but I also kind of like the idea. It is interesting how long of a delay they have when they first see you. Like, you do have a little time. Just not much. Ow. <laughs> now, obviously, I could use a gun, but I actually kind of like this. I have to say, fists are fun. I can make, like, also, this is a good point to save and test this, like, to test a run like this out. Just gotta pick that guy off. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pick this. How time consuming. Shit, window. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, I wish uh, another thing would be nice locked doors. Could I have some sort of visual indicator that that is a locked door and I cannot, you know, you know, that I, I it'd be nice to know if I'm going to instantly open the door or if it's going to be like, oh shit, I'm now lockpicking it. Like that would be good. That would be really nice if I could just figure that out without having to test the door first. I am lucky that worked. Shit. Cancel. Oh no! He was a two shot. I punched him once. Damn, this is uh, actually kind of exhilarating to play this way though. It's like run all over the place. Woo! Okay. It's about speed. It's not about dodging around their vision codes. It's about Gain the fuck- oh god. Gain those blind corners in my face- uh, in their face so they can't see what they're gonna shoot. Oof. 
Oh shit. Those guys are facing? Alright. The darkness hides them about as well as I as me, actually. Open. Okay. Too loud. Actually, this is kind of a good. What are they doing? I do think the whole map being alert like this got a little. I wonder if I triggered a glitch and just everything got aggroed because glitch. Ah. They were fighting over what side of the door half open. Nice. <laughs> ah shit, I have to unlock it. What the fuck happened there? I think I got grappled actually. I punched the enemy once, got stuck. I'm looking, I'm learning how the agro works with these enemies, and I'm learning a lot. Yeah, I see what you mean about the fighting thing. Motherfuck! <laughs> They're getting frustrated with each other, nice. Whoa! That reaction speed was different than I expected. I think, it's, I think what I'm doing is very difficult, but totally possible. I've had some good runs here, but... But also, it's kind of just like random chance if they decide to react differently than I expect. Damn it. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm fighting this way, it's because I got kind of tired of these guys and how they work. I feel like, I feel like being... Like, there's just so many enemies, man. I don't know why. This is the second mission. Your buddy died. Do you care? Damn it! Why are there so many of them? And my, all the way through, I'm like, I want to be a little lethal. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm self opposed challenging here, but I mean, we haven't killed anybody yet. Why would I kill somebody now? Damn it. I also constantly get confused which side of the door opens, and that messes up my strategy sometimes. Ow. I knew something for that guy would get me killed. I will use another save in a bit, if you're wondering. Ooh, that guy didn't notice. Shut up and grab your gun. He didn't say anything. You just told him to shut up and grab his gun for no reason. Right. Forgot about that. How did I live through that? Legit question. Damn it! Sometimes they miss, though. Very rarely. Maybe I should try a different route. What the fuck? Also, sometimes my, pit, my punch is just kind of whiff. <laughs> if I'm not lined up right. Which really sucks. We just went from a game with a really good melee attack to this game, which kind of just has it okay. Also, sometimes the enemies seem just faster to alert, and I don't know why. Like, faster to draw their gun, basically, on me. I'm not sure what triggers that. Okay, hi.
You know, also, also notice the enemy patterns kind of vary sometimes. Sometimes they're where we think they will be, but then other times they aren't. The buildings are definitely my friend, though. They let me get. They let me break sight lines real easy. Hell yeah. Okay, you know what? Fuck you guys. I need a strategy. I'm just like, every direction I go, there's five million enemies. You notice that? That's the main thing that's really annoying to me right now. <laughs> nope. Oh, I didn't actually notice me. Okay. Tab to turn. I have night vision goggles. All right, that would be nice to know. Learn something new every day. <laughs> oh well, that's fun. Where's my- wait, that guy said, where's my legendary weapon drop? What? Interesting statement. You know what? Night vision sounds useful. Oh, hi. There's so many. Why are there so many enemies? This is, I know I'm playing it hard differently, but why are there so many enemies in the second level? <laughs> it is legitimately perplexing for me. Shit. I'm dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Amazing that guy missed. All right, well, I think I'm about done here, huh? Fun little challenge though. So you know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna do this instead. I wonder how much the uh, pistol does, damage-wise. Well, it takes forever to reload. <laughs> I kind of, I mean, why, why am I surprised? I have a veterinary pistol. <laughs> that work? Not even gonna play it, actually. What? I'm... Okay. There is no way that was fair. I'm in a pitch black room. Guy's outside in the light. Looks through the window. Instantly kills me. I think this is the... Yeah, I don't... I don't like this game. <laughs> Do you see my point here? <laughs> The enemies, their AI isn't very fair, nor is it very logical. It's, uh, it's, it's just not, I don't know. I like stealth games, but if the enemies are effectively clairvoyant, or even worse, randomly clairvoyant, I don't consider that terribly fun. I think that's just the best place to hit it off. I was in a pitch black room. They were alerted because they saw a body. A body, mind you, not me. They didn't know where I was. But since they got alerted and saw a body, they entered into full alert phase and then instantly spotted me through the window. The the main problem with this game is that it doesn't have a it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have an alert phase system. Like it doesn't have 
this is how I usually expect a stealth kid to play. You, you got multiple states to the guards, something like this. Like, relaxed, they think everything's fine. Uh, confused. Oh, was why was there a can just, like, why did a can go dink, dink, dink over there? I'm gonna check that. Confused. So basically, you got alert level zero, where they aren't alert at all, relax. Alert level one, where they're a little confused. Something weird happened. They saw a door that shouldn't be open, or they saw a can that flew across or something. Like, oh, that's weird. I'll go check that. I'll go check that, resolve the situation, and then probably go back to relax state. Uh, state zero. State two would be similar to state one where they're confused, but they're a little more like anxious. Like, oh, what's going on? This is kind of weird. Like, this is legitimately weird. Like, seeing somebody knocked out or seeing some broken windows or shot out lights or something like that. Level, that would be level, like alert level two. And then alert level three would be actually seeing me and being on full alert. That's how stealth games usually work, something like that system. Um, and I always find it fun in stealth games to mess around with an enemy's alert level one, to make them confused or sus slightly suspicious, to manipulate them into positions where I could take them out without fully alerting them. I can't do this in this game, because they see an open door and they draw their gun and look for something to shoot. That's not good stealth game design, in my opinion. Uh, cause that is an escalation of action, and an escalation of their alertness, of how focused they are looking for threats, that doesn't make sense. It's just not very fun. Maybe you can play this game like Hotline Miami, but this game touted itself as sort of Hotline Miami, but stealth. So... I guess play this like Hotline Miami if you play it, because the stealth side is kind of, in my opinion, stupid. I don't think I could summarize it much better than that guy saw a, a knocked out person and instantly realized I existed through in a pitch black room through a window and shot me. If he hadn't saw that body, he wouldn't have seen me. But since he saw the body, which alerted him, and granted seeing a body should alert them, but Instantly clairvoyance because they were alert. Like, I, I fucking what? Yeah, it's... <sighs> Intravenous is a good idea. But I hate to say hi. It's not fun, in my personal opinion. I'm sure your mileage is very... I think this got pretty good reviews. So clearly a lot of people still like the game. But I cannot stand this, this stealth AI. This is not stealth AI that I find fun. This is not stealth AI that I can enjoy manipulating and orchestrating to move over there, or be confused by this, and trick. Like, I like stealth games. I like tricking AI. It's something I do in games that aren't even stealth games, and in stealth games, you're kind of encouraged to do it. But this AI sucks. I can't predict it. I can't predict even how fast they're going to shoot me when they are alerted. Sometimes I alert them, they get that exclamation, they are alerted, and then I have, like, a couple seconds to punch them or whatever before they shoot me. And then other times they alert, and then they are instantly shooting me. So there's just no consistency there either. Um... Yeah, intravenous is not a bad idea, but I really do not think this, this the AI stealth mechanics are good at all. I mean, also, look what happened. I alert, and also, when you alert the enemy in a stealth game, you should be penalized by areas, by enemies in that area, all being alerted and looking for you. But it seemed like what happened here, and I don't know if it's a bug or not, but it seemed like what happened here was the entire fucking map came after me. Not just a small area, not just like a, ha a building or, you know, a, a yard area or something. The whole map was after me, and that just seems kind of uncool too. Um, and they were just constantly patrolling, they didn't seem to be stopping. So, I mean, they would have stopped if I waited long enough, but... Whew, yeah. Not fond of this one, sadly. It really had some promise, but at the end of the day, nah. I started, div I started running around punching people while they are alerted, that just shows my lack of patience with the stealth. That was intravenous. Maybe play it if you want to play it a little more Guns Akimbo. It might be more fun that way. But as a stealth game, wouldn't recommend it.